the most amazing thing just happened. And I'm very lucky it happens quite often. Somebody came into my office after setting an appointment uh, on my calendar, and they said to me, Rabbi, I really want to be a Jew. And so I'm happy. They expect me to do something that unfortunately has become a prevalent urban myth in the community, which is to turn them away three times. They expect me to say, no, you don't really want this, or... Do you know the story of the Jews? It's a terrible story. Why would you want to be a part of the Jewish people? They think that I'm going to send them away. And so this is what I usually say to them. I say to someone who comes into my office and says, I'd like to become a Jew. I tell them that I know they expect me to send them away. And then I say, sending you away communicates three ugly things. It communicates to you that Judaism isn't worth it. It communicates to you that I'm a mean person and it communicates to you that I think you're thoughtless. But what I say then is this, Judaism is unbelievable, and I try not to be mean. And by being brave enough to cross the threshold of a synagogue and meet with a rabbi you don't know to share a dream you hold very dear, you've demonstrated to me at least that you are a very thoughtful person. And so I say, Mazel Tov, welcome. How can we get started? Because your choice of Judaism affirms everything I hold dear. Being a rabbi, being a Jew in the world, pretty often, acting as a Jew all the time, worrying about the Jewish people a lot, those things can give anybody some doubt. But when someone as precious as you, whoever you are, says, being a Jew is something that I want to do with my life, then someone like me, who does it, my whole life feels a whole lot stronger and blessed. And so welcome. We're so glad you're here.